Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is a guide to the Broodkeeper Dierna fight in the Vault of the Incarnates on Normal and Heroic difficulty. In Phase 1, we've got an ad fight with a side of egg frying. In Phase 2, it's just a very angry mama boss. If you look around, you may notice eggs. We need to destroy all of these before the boss can die. Mortal Stoneclaws is a heavy tank buster with nasty but pretty short debuffs in this phase. Swap if you like, but you might not need to swap in Phase 1. She plants her Great Staff, which does some raid damage. You can go near the staff and use an extra action button to make a beam chase you. Run that over nearby hatching eggs to destroy them before they spawn more adds. Rapid Incubation makes her two nearest eggs get a hatch timer. Run the staff beam over those ones before they hatch. You'll want to keep dragging the boss around so that the hatching eggs aren't super far away. If you get nascent proto-dragons, that means that you are failing to fry your eggs. You're ruining breakfast. Wildfire does a bit of raid damage and some swirls to move out of. Icy Shroud puts out a raid-wide slow and healing absorb. It can be dispelled or healed off. Dispel as many as you can first, and then heal the rest of them. Sometimes, adds will come, and they get a pretty big buff if they're kept near Diurna. They'll do more damage, take less, and get a little heal over time. You can try to stack them all up and cleave anyways, or tank them away from the boss if it's a problem. All of these adds are pretty easy, just don't fall behind. It gets tougher when there's a ton of them. Juvenile Frost Proto Dragons throw tantrums, just heal through it. The Primalist Mages cast Ice Barrage, definitely kick that, it trucks. For Stormbringers, spread out with the Pulsing Ionizing Charge. Flame Benders will summon rotating fire beams, avoid those. Earth Ravers have a nasty frontal cone called Tremors, that's not good for your health, and Legionnaires are just basic melee adds. So you pull her around the room, she incubates eggs, you zap them with the staff beam before they hatch, and the ad waves keep coming. Phase 2 starts when all of the eggs have been broken, or after 5 minutes. There are no more adds, but the boss is going to start to hurt. She gets a damage buff that stacks every 30 seconds until forever, meaning use anything you have left and burn her down. Her tank buster will have a longer debuff, requiring a real tank swap now. The staff will do more raid damage and randomly pick people for the beam. Kite it away from players. Icy Shroud from earlier is upgraded with these attackable roots. You still dispel and heal off the absorb like before, but also attack the ice shards to break free. On normal, that's it. On heroic, there's a handful of upgrades to spice things up. Breaking an egg with the beam on heroic will enrage the boss for 10 seconds. That enrage can stack, so maybe wait for it to fall off before you break a second egg. Heroic Wildfire has these rings to spread with before it goes out, easy enough. The Earth Reaver adds get a tank buster called Burrowing Strike with a stacking armor debuff, tank swap them if you must. The Frost Dragons also get one called Rending Bite that stacks a bleed, you can trade those too if it gets bad. The Flamebenders learn Cauterizing Flash Flames, which is kind of a neat one. It does damage to both other adds and players, and then heals it back over 9 seconds. You want to use purges to remove the heal from the other adds. Heroic Stormbringers cast Static Jolt, which simply must be kicked. If it gets the cast off, it does a ton of damage and stuns somebody, which can easily kill you if you're not topped. Interrupt Static Jolt. And that's Broodkeeper Diurna. Thanks for watching, I've got more raid guides if you want them, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.